Well, I'm live here at Francis Elementary in Warwick, one of the affected schools. And parents that sent their kids to school today say they have confidence in police. And the CDC says that it is looking at three deaths nationwide, which have links to the enterovirus. Hernandez also rented jet skis from here and then took them out on the harbor for two hours. Sitting in traffic, we've all wanted to have a magic button to push. A crypto locker hacker said, show me the money. The league agreed to a pitch that puts them here We're at the prison industries building. This is where authorities tell us Kiris Pena well just started to walk away. First I want to talk about the damage from this explosion. It's very extensive. I'm going to step out of the way just so you can see what I'm talking about. You can actually look inside somebody's home. Despite the clear blue skies and singing birds, death lingers on Blackstone Street in Moonsocket. Residents are dying out here and the city apparently doesn't care. David Dinsmore and his wife decided to put up this no, grim off. reaper Sunday to express their anger. Some drive by to admire their work. It's very honest, it's very true. Others grudgingly deal with it. I don't like it. Why not? I just don't. Like it or not, the message is loud and clear. Come on here and invest in this city. We have a lot to offer. Number one in foreclosure. Our water and sewer systems suck. We have no freedom. Dinsmore and his wife are angry. They have to go to housing court for zoning violations from last November. You may remember this. <laughs> he built an unlicensed haunted house last year. He was told to take it down and clean it up, but then the city cited him again. Dunsmore thinks it's retribution. We've been told no matter what we do, the city is going to ride us. The sheriff served these papers to the Dinsmores Thursday, telling them they had to show up to housing court. But one day before their Wednesday appearance, well, inspectors were here again. City solicitor Michael Marcello sat down with NBC 10 News. Mr. Dunsmore and his wife, are they being targeted? Because that's what they seem to think. No, absolutely not. Marcello says the couple was served because they didn't respond to the initial notice. And we were forced to serve him with the summons. Dinsmore says he's fixed many of the issues. <sighs> if the citations are a tactic to keep him quiet, Dinsmore says it's not going to work. Um, so I don't know what to do. I, I, I express myself through my displays. Reporting in Woonsocket, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News. She's just not the same baby, though. You know, she was always a play around, hyper happy baby, and now she can't do much. She's limited. Limited but alive. It's a small miracle for Ruby Olivares. The fact that I almost lost my daughter. If it, if it would have just been another minute, she would have been gone. On Tuesday, Oliveras, her boyfriend Ruben Gonzalez, and their baby were inside their Pawtucket apartment. Started out like any day. While she was taking a shower, their home exploded, then caught fire. I heard the blast. I opened the shower curtain, and I just saw all the fire and the ceiling down, and I heard the baby crying and Ruben screaming, and I just ran across the house to grab her. I started throwing the ceiling off her. The baby was covered in debris and burning. Gonzalez took the brunt of the explosion, trying to protect his family. He was trying to get us both out. It's just his hands were so burned. It was raw. But to know that he loves me enough to try and save me before himself, he's not going nowhere now. No, he's screwed. He's stuck in my family. More than half of Gonzalez's body was burned. He's next door at Rhode Island Hospital. Oliveira says that morning he was baking brownies in the kitchen when something exploded, possibly natural gas. Didn't smell rotten eggs or anything? Nothing. Now the young mother is extra protective, hardly leaving her daughter's side. Eight-month-old Leilani has toys to keep her busy. But the baby can't leave until her burns heal. Thankfully, no surgeries. Seeing her baby injured is torture. It's really hard. It's really hard. But Leilani is still here, unlike their home. Memories that I'll never get back. The baby's favorite things. Everything was there. Now she holds on to the simple joys. She jumps in her crib and she gives us pop pow. Pop pow. Little miracles to help her family recover. It's not fair. That's what Hernandez's defense attorney said today in court. But the magistrate says, like it or not, this is the way things go. Aaron Hernandez's arraignment started like most, but ended with his defense team accusing the prosecution of trying to taint the jury pool. It's not fair. Whether the defendant is a football player or a poor person, he's entitled to the court's assistance in securing him a fair trial. I could not envision a proceeding 
where the press would not be invited to attend. We do not operate behind closed doors. Minutes before Aaron Hernandez walked into the courtroom, he's accused of committing a double murder back in 2012. The families of Daniel De Abreu and Safira Furtado sat right behind him, openly weeping. How do you plead this indictment? Are you guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. The prosecution says it has a mountain of evidence, including the SUV Hernandez was driving that night, surveillance video, cell phone satellite data, and even an eyewitness. The defendant stated to his friend, quote, I think I got one in the head and one in the chest, end quote. The prosecution says Hernandez thought the men were disrespecting him after one of them accidentally spilled his drink. They say the slight caused Hernandez to follow and open fire on the men. The defendant immediately fired at least five rounds from a 38 caliber revolver into the victim's car. Hernandez is currently locked up for the 2013 murder of Odin Lloyd. Despite multiple pending murder cases, the former tight end's girlfriend was in court standing by the father of her child, watching his defense team try to protect him. We don't ask to be treated differently. Just give us a fair trial. He's due back in a courtroom on June 24th. Reporting in Boston, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.